been the executive director of Texas Carry. Um, I represent the millions of gun owners across Texas. I'm also the president of the Republican Club in San Jacinto County and I'm the pastor of Crossroads Baptist Church in Oakhurst, Texas. I'm here today to offer testimony in opposition to these proposed rules, specifically um, in the change uh, re in regard to alcohol and gun shows. <clears throat> Uh, let me first start out by saying that we as Texas Carry are truly perplexed as to why we are even having this discussion. And as I've sat here today and listened to the testimony, I'm even more perplexed why TABC would be entertaining these conversations from one loan request out there with the thousands of gun owners we have and the thousands of gun show hosts that we have. We're fixing to turn this entire thing upside down because one club wants to sell alcohol to gun show. Uh, it boggles my mind that TABC has not <clears throat> got enough to do on this plate already and we're going to consider this and ex ex exert a lot of time and effort in dealing with it. Our members and the millions of gun owners across Texas are not the least bit interested in having alcohol at gun shows in which TABC is going to create a regulation that it does not have the authority to enforce. We have received hundreds of communications opposing such foolishness as alcohol at gun shows. Um, the Safari Gun Club is not a gun show. It's a club that has some guns that, that they obviously have a few vendors that come in, but it is not the truest definition of a gun show. Um, everyone is asking why in the world would we do this? Uh, the fact that your communications director, Carolyn Beck, is quoted as saying that we've been getting some great feedback causes great concern for Texas Carry. Although there was positive feedback, Beck was quick to add that she is also beginning lots of feedback from people who think alcohol shouldn't be sold at gun shows at all. They think it's a bad idea, end quote. Uh, Texas Carey seriously concurs uh, with that position. I personally have immediate access to well over 30,000 gun owners in the state of Texas. Not one single one of them has spoken in favor and has a favorable view of this position on the rule change. And so this begs the question, where is the favorable response coming from? Because we can't find it. And we have worked hard and, and reached out to a lot of people, and we have yet to get one single favorable response. The inevitable conclusion that Texas gun owners are coming to, and it's the one that they should come to, and they have no choice to come to based on the information that we have, is this really isn't about the Safari Club. Uh, this is about a backdoor approach to try and harm gun shows and gun owners across Texas. Um, I understand why people would come to that conclusion based on the evidence that's been presented. Uh, it didn't come from gun show folks. It didn't come from gun owners across Texas. Um, and so we are very curious to find out where are all the favorable responses coming from and maybe this committee could sh shed some light on that for us. It is just common sense that no one wants to attend a gun show that has no ammo, that the firearms must be disassembled to the point that they are not able to be properly inspected because if you look at how a court defines that, it must take four to eight hours to be able to put back together and be usable. And the most egregious infringement by far is that customers are not able to take possession of a firearm that they purchase. There is simply no other explanation for such a ludicrous proposal other than the obvious conclusion that we have stated that we believe that we have come to correctly. Texas Gary also holds that the TABC should stay out of the gun business and by implementing such a rule would unlawfully be usurping its granted authority in trying to regulate not alcohol but the buying and selling and transporting and transferring of firearms in the state of Texas. That is clearly only given to the legislature to do. That is clearly written in law in 229.01 that the legislature is the one that had the authority to regulate that, not TABC. To create a rule that is certainly not needed today just for the sake of TABC being able to regulate the gun shows will be seen for what it is, an overreach of power with ill intent towards Texas gun owners and gun shows. I want to openly communicate to TABC today on behalf of Texas Carry that if this rule is passed, that Texas Carry will request from the Attorney General to file an injunction against the rule that TABC passes. 
If the Attorney General fails to do so, Texas Carey is prepared to file suit on itself, believing that TABC does not have the authority to regulate the sales, transferring, or transporting of firearms. In closing, it is clearly obvious to gun owners and gun show sponsors that alcohol should not be allowed at gun shows. This is not a hard conversation. But it is even more obvious that they do not want it there. We don't want it. Make no mistake, the only ones that have a vested interest in such an absurd rule are those that have an ill intent and are working against the Second Amendment and gun owners in Texas. Texas Carry truly hopes that you will very much reconsider the path that this has taken. We are not asking you to amend the rule change. We want you to abolish it and stay away from any further restricting of gun sales. Thank you.